The topic for today is plants and animals for grade 3 class 3. Let's begin. Animals that gnaw, dash, option A, bite food repeatedly and chew it hard. Option B, have sharp front teeth. Option C, do not bite or chew their food. Option D, both A and B. The answer is option D, both A and B. Animals that gnaw such as rats, squirrel have very sharp front teeth. Gnawing is biting food repeatedly and chewing it hard. Process by which plants prepare their food is known as dash. Option A photon, option B locomotion, option C photosynthesis, option D phototropism. The answer is option C photosynthesis. Match the following. We have in column A leaf, stem, root, fruit. In column B keeps the leaves in light, absorbs water from soil, contains seeds, prepares food for the plants. The answer is option D. Leaves prepare food for the plants, stem keeps the leaves in light, root absorbs water from the soil and fruit contains seeds. Shoot system of a plant does not include option A branches, option B roots, option C leaves, option D flowers. The answer is roots. You can see in the picture that the shoot system does not include the roots. Root system and shoot system of a plant. The root system consists of the roots while the shoot system is made up of the stems and leaves. Shoot system functions. The shoot system is responsible for photosynthesis, for transport of food and water and for reproduction. Root system functions. The root system is responsible for anchoring the plant to the soil. It penetrates soil and absorbs water and minerals and stores food. Phototropism is a movement of plants towards option A sunlight, option B ground, option C water, option D other plants. The answer is option A sunlight. This is known as kitchen of plant. Option A stem, option B leaf, option C root, option D flower. The answer is leaf. Leaves are called kitchen of plant because they help in making food for the plant. They contain a great pigment called chlorophyll. With the help of chlorophyll, leaves make food using carbon dioxide and water in the presence of sunlight. Leaves have small openings called stomata that helps in exchange of gases. Which of the following plant responds to touch? Option A lily, option B mimosa, option C marigold, option D sunflower. The answer is option B, Mimosa. Mimosa is commonly called as touch me not. This plant folds its leaves when touched or exposed to heat. Select the odd one out on the basis of how the given animals eat their food. Option A, Squirrel. Option B, Rat. Option C, Snake. Option D, Guinea Pig. The answer is option C, snake. Squirrel, rat and guinea pig gnaw their food while snake swallows its food. I am a part of the leaf that carries water to it. I give rise to many thinner branches. I am a dash. Option A, leaf blade. Option B, lamina. Option C, midway. Option D, none of these. The 
The answer is option C mid vein. In the middle of the leaf blade is the main vein or mid vein which gives rise to number of side branches or side veins. These veins carry water to leaf. So in this picture we can see the mid vein which gives rise to many side branches that carry water to leaf. Select the plant among the following in which stem stores food. Option A mango, option B carrot, option B spinach, option D ginger. The answer is option D ginger. In ginger, the stem stores food and becomes swollen. The ginger we eat is actually a swollen stem. Which of the following animal shows a eating habit similar to that of a crow? Option A rat, option B cow, option C goat, option D deer. The answer is rat. Rat and crow are omnivorous. They eat both plant and flesh of animals. Cow, goat, deer are herbivorous. They eat only plants. Which of these is not a modified root? Option A sweet potato, option B garlic, option C turnip, option D radish. The answer is garlic. Garlic is a modified stem. Sweet potato, turnip and radish are modified roots. X shows how each living organism gets its food and how they depend on each other for fulfillment of their food requirements. X is called dash. Option A food chain, option B food series, option C food group, option D all of these. The answer is option A food chain. Food chain is a series or sequence which shows how one living organism eats another and is in turn eaten by another living organism. A food chain always begins with plants. In this picture, we can see a food chain. Here, grass is the producer. It can make its own food. It is eaten by a grasshopper which is called a primary consumer. The grasshopper is eaten by a bird which is called as the Secondary consumer, the bird is eaten by an owl which is called a predator. After the predator dies, it is broken down. The predator then dies. The decomposers break down the dead plants and animal remains into simpler forms which are then absorbed by the plants. Which of the following is the function of a seed? Option A it gives sweet taste to the fruit. Option B it helps in ripening of fruit. Option C it gives rise to a new plant. Option D none of these. The answer is option C it gives rise to a new plant. Seeds when sown in soil give rise to a new plant of the same kind. Fishes breathe through dash, tiger and gorilla breathe through dash, ant and butterfly breathe through dash. Option A, spiracles, lungs, gills. Option B, spiracles, gills, lungs. Option C, gills, lungs, spiracles. Option D, gills, spiracles, lungs. The answer is option C. Fishes breathe through gills, tiger and gorilla breathe through lungs, ant and butterfly breathe through spiracles. A submerged plant that has narrow leaves is dash. Option A lotus, option B water hyacinth, option C water lily, option D valisneria. The answer is option D, Valisneria. The submerged plant that has narrow leaves is 
ballast neria Rhea likes to eat cabbage which part of the plant does she eat option A leaf option B flower option C root option D fruit The answer is option A leaf Dash is the loss of water through the leaves of plants. Option A respiration, option B transpiration, option C reproduction, option D photosynthesis. The answer is option B transpiration. Transpiration is the loss of water through the leaves of plants. Dash grows into fruit after maturation. Option A stem, option B flower, option C root, option D leaf. The answer is option B flower. The flower grows into fruit after maturation. I am a non-green plant and I depend on dead parts of plants for food. Option A croton, option B pitcher, option C mushroom, option D pea. The answer is option C mushroom. In which plant food is prepared by the stem? Option A neem, option B sunflower, option C cactus, option D banyan tree. The answer is option C cactus. If you place a grasshopper and a dish of water in a sealed glass tank, the grasshopper would die after few minutes. It died due to lack of dash. Option A air and food, option B food and water, option C air only, option D air food and water. The answer is option C air only. The grasshopper did not get air that is oxygen in a sealed box hence it died. Second largest mammal in the world is dash. Option A elephant, option B dog, option C blue whale, option D tiger. The answer is option A elephant. Elephant is the second largest mammal in the world. The first largest mammal in the world is the blue whale. Animals that live in or on dash are called arboreal animals. Option A land, option B trees, option C water, option D all of the above. The answer is option B trees. Arboreal animals are those animals that spend most of their lives eating, playing and sleeping in the canopy of trees. Examples are monkeys, koalas, possums, sloths and various rodents and a variety of insects. Match the following. The shapes of the leaves are given and the leaf name. Column 1 oval shape, round shape, heart shaped, needle shaped. Column 2 pine leaf, peepal tree leaf, guava tree leaf and lotus leaf. The answer is option D. Guava leaf is oval in shape. Lotus leaf is round in shape. Peepal tree leaf is heart shaped. Pine tree leaf is needle shaped. Guava has oval leaves. Lotus has round leaves. Peepal tree has heart shaped leaves. Cactus has leaves modified into spines. In this picture you can see that the pine tree leaves are needle shaped peepal tree leaf is heart shaped guava tree leaf is oval shaped lotus leaf is round shaped 
These types of roots arise from different parts of the plant other than the roots. Option A fibrous roots, option B tap roots, option C adventitious roots, option D parasitic roots. The answer is adventitious roots. Adventitious roots arise from an organ other than the root, usually a stem, sometimes a leaf. For example, mangrove, bamboo, maize, rice, wheat, potato all have adventitious roots. Choose the correct option for the name of the given roots, beetroot and carrot. Option A fibrous roots, option B tap roots, option C adventitious roots, option D parasitic roots. The answer is option B tap roots. Tap roots are primary dominant roots from which other roots grow laterally. They are thick, somewhat straight and grow vertically deep into soil. Mustard, beetroot, parsley, coriander, radish, turnip, carrots have a root that goes deep into soil. It is very thick and straight. They all have a tap root. Which part of the leaf helps the plant in taking up carbon dioxide from air? Option A midrib, option B veins, option C stomata, option D leaf blade. The answer is tomato. In this picture, we can see that the leaves have small openings called stomata that helps in exchange of gases. In most of the desert plants, the leaves are modified to dash. Option A roots, option B stem, option C flowers, option D spines. The answer is option D spines. In the picture, we can see the cactus plant in which the leaves are modified to spines. I am a plant that eats insects. Option A mimosa, option B pitcher plant, option C coconut, option D valisneria. The answer is option B pitcher plant. In this picture, we can see the picture plant. Please remember to like, share and subscribe. Thank you.